Hello and welcome to Playing Hardball. This is Space Rack, a game that has been released half a year ago in October 2023. A CRPG. And let's look into it. So this is, well, a DOS, DOS color scheme. What is the speech? LCD, oh, well, let's, let's do it like this here. Full screen show skill requirements and dialogue, yeah. That is uh, certainly a good thing. Default movement mode, flying and walking. Now let's walk. Auto follow camera. Music, music volume. Let's reduce that a bit. So it's not interfering too much. So there we go. Let's start the demo, start new story. Note this will override your current autosave. Well, I just, uh, I actually st started it very shortly, like for two seconds, uh, because I wanted to check the options first. So it appears there are a lot of um, planets that we can explore. Yes, we want to start. So note that health grows exponentially. 9, 18, 36, 72, 100 based on your physical attribute. Okay. Is it loading? Warning, you may find combat unforgiving. This is because it is 100% optional. Well, pa Paris Entertainment presents Latvian role-playing game. A Latvian role-playing game. Okay, nice. From, from Latvia. Space Wreck. In the 22nd okay. century, humanity is spread across the solar system. Wild capitalization of the markets has sparked bloody clashes between corporations and asteroid miners, spiraling into anarchy. You are an inexperienced captain, fresh out of the academy on your first voyage. Being a complete outsider to the crew, they don't seem to have much respect for you or your command. To make matters okay. worse, your ship is targeted by asteroid pirates. Well, that's not a good start. A ion torpedo damages the fuel controller chip looks like we are suffering Somehow from the, the curse of hardball way to a nearby space wreck in hopes of finding a replacement but someone has to go get it the crew proposes a lottery to determine who will despite your status as the captain you feel compelled to participate well we're just Everyone saying draws go the straws but you get the short one i would just say hey being the role model you manage to cover and the leader a distance when your shuttle unexpectedly runs out of fuel why unexpectedly Luckily, there's an abandoned space station nearby you land hoping to replenish the fuel tanks of the stranded shuttlecraft so that's a lot of trash in space crocus hisses as the hatch opens stepping outside on broken tiles of the derelict station you have no idea what to expect but one thing is clear. There is no way forward without fuel. So we need to find fuel. Okay, so the graphics are rather basic. Oh yeah, like really basic. Okay. Oh, annoying voice over radio. Captain, wake up, you have arrived. Indeed, I just landed. The shuttle tanks are completely empty. You must find fuel here. You got it. Let me just get ready. Aha, we can create a character. Choose your captain's background. Online video celebrity Johanna. Juvenile offender hacker Noah. Tech and stealth. Gun enthusiast Sam. Combat. Create your own character from scratch. I like that because I like all of it. Uh, so here, what do we have? Seven attribute points. Like physical strength and agility, your general physical fitness affects health, melee damage, inventory space, and more. Oh, being a pack rat. That is certainly interesting and important. So note this also your size. Small people can be rather strong as well, right? But well, let's put this one IR to then focus. Is this 86? Yeah, we already just read that uh, the HP is rising exponentially. So women are more charming, huh? 
I, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't agree to that, like, as a general rule, but, well... So we are male, we are a stereotypical man with inherent plus one physical bonus. Okay, can carry 29, so let's... This one here, focus, discipline and mental strength, the ability to concentrate on the task at hand. High focus also lets us detect lies. That is a good thing. Effects, action points, critical hit, fail chance, combat initiative, melee damage, evasion, conversations, skill check, rerolls and more. Note, with extremely low focus, you cannot keep track of long conversations. Oh. Yeah. So we are, we are certainly not dumb, yeah. Perception, eyesight, hearing and the rest of the senses, also intuition and general awareness. What, uh, what happens if we have very sharp eyes but are, you know, very bad hearing, but well. Good perception allows us to read people, effects, conversations, firearm range, map awareness. Mm -hmm. Charm, like ability of one's persona. The more charming you are, the more welcoming other people are to you. Ready to listen and even accept your suggestions. Effects, first impression, conversation, sex appeal, oh. And work. Genius is 1% talent and 99% hard work. Don't rely on attributes you are born with. Invest work to improve your skills. Every point in work grants you one additional skill point. Note this attribute is also directly related to rate of which you gain XP. Oh. Yeah. I think we should have all of this and then maybe work, huh? Current XP rate. 120. So it's like... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it like this. So, and then the speech. Speech is your ability to win arguments, to discuss topics compet competently and convince people of your truth. Of your truth. There's only one truth. Facts. So, applied science and modern technology. Skitech or Skytech allows you to interact with increasingly complicated or protected computers. Even hack them and represents your familiarity with various technologies. Note unlocks blueprints to be constructed with Tinker. Mm -hmm. Tinker pick apart, repair, modify various me mechanisms. Lets you pick locks and determine success when constructing something new. Good Tinker helps to maintain equipment in good shape more easily. All right, sneak is clear. Ability to move unnoticed allows you to get into places where you are not supposed to be and bypass hostiles or friendlies without confrontation. It is a great way to avoid combat. This also determines your success when pickpocketing people. No, I don't want to pickpock pickpocket. Uh, but sneaking is still a good thing. Melee, your close quarter combat skill with weapons, e.g. clubs, knives and unarmed fist fight, does not affect damage, only chance to hit and range. Your yeah, ability to hit target with the ranged weapon. Gun, note that also perception is taken into account. When determining successful hit in distance, does not affect damage, only the chance to hit. So I feel that we should probably... I mean, we are more the tech head, right? And then maybe sneak and melee. Now that we are relatively strong, let's do it like that. But I would, of course, increase the other stuff as well. What's this? So, well, I mean, the whole thing is rather basic. Loading. Subject fit for the position of Captain Explorer. Subject has balanced skill set and solves problems by natural curiosity, carefully exploring all available options. Scores covert operative 42%. Yeah, actually, that sounds good. Hacker 40%, engineer 40%, soldier 36, negotiator 30. That sounds like what I personally always like, jack of all trades. Red flags, introvert, cannot talk to strangers, negotiations unlikely. Hmm, yeah, well. Limited computer skills, can use most of the computers yet. Sometimes there's accidental crash. Yeah, sounds about right. Civilian absolutely useless in combat with or without a gun. Yeah, well. PS Space Academy is legally obliged to inform you that the accuracy of this assessment is 23%. Well, I don't know if we have a gun. Do we have one? That's the inventory. 
passenger spacesuit. Keys, yeah, captain uniform, what's that? Or oh, why why do they have a menu like this? Do we have a weapon? No. Yeah, I feel better like if we can we can do something. So here dialogue. Loading. I'm clicking. So here introvert. So con yeah, confirm. So can we actually save the game? There's a body there, remains. Let's save the progress. Save. I'm clicking Alt button. Ah, yeah, that's lighting up something. This is our shuttle. There are two bodies here. Okay, so let's check these remains. We can zoom in a bit. These are the remains of a destroyed robot. Oh, I thought it was a person. Okay, well, let's examine it. Oh, that I like. Success too. There are certainly some undamaged components here that could be salvaged. To be honest, the overall damage may even not be so critical. Well, we could repair the robot. That would be nice, right? Let's try to repair it. You'll need a soldering item and some electronic junk to patch up the bot. Also, an RC controller is needed to actually control it. There are certainly some undamaged components here that could be salvaged. Yeah, let's... Okay. Let's look for stuff. Oh, how to captain. Skill checks and roll dice. Sometimes your skills are tested by dice rolls to determine outcome. Game rolls four dice with plus one, zero and minus one sides. Oh, okay, that means that if we have a skill of four, skill level of four, we could still fail. Well, it adds the rolled numbers to your skill rank. Ah, oh, no, okay. Oh, well, theoretically, this would be zero. Then it compares it to a hidden difficulty. Your chance of success is estimated by phrasing like easy, 50-50, unrealistic. Most rolls are permanent. Though, if you are quick, you can retry failure, but only limited number of times, your focus in total. Note that both success and failure can branch the story and open new options. Hmm, interesting. So what I already know about this game is that there are many, many ways to solve things. Can we actually... There are remains... Ah, he's floating there in the corner. Okay. That's a person. Bad overalls. Workers attire. Comfortable, simple, practical. Almost the same outfit as per rest of the crew. Captain suit. Sports. Additional subtle insignias. So he's got a screwdriver. Piece of pipe. Bad. What is... Items keep it light. You don't need to pick up every item you find. There's a lot of junk out there, but your carry capacity is very limited. Grab only what you need. Painkillers to heal after combat. Hairpins for lock picking. Tools and junk if you are making something. Alcohol if you cannot speak to people. <laughs> Lo to loosen our tongue. Food for a temporary carry capacity boost. The only item you really need is the fuel regulator. Oh, and a spacesuit probably. That's it. Space left is your bag. Ah, yeah. Space left is fix up weapons and armor to save space. Weapon and armor you are using. Uh, filtered items by type. How much weight you are carrying is here right, uh, in the lower right corner. Okay. Krogus Ill, uh, the third. Krogus 3 toilet pass. An electronics ID card used to access the public restroom in Krogus 3 welcome terminal area. Since when do you need a special pass? But whatever. Piece of pipe. Random piece of industrial piping. Heavy, unhandy, and slightly terrifying. I think that's, yeah, that we can use to smash someone's skull in if need be. Okay, so our inventory. So is uh, Equip. Equip. And actually, can we wear the, the overall? Why is it? Right, let's take it. And then inventory overalls. Let's equip it. It doesn't say. But I guess it, it it's going to get... What's going on? We failed? Why? But that's not how it ended, right? What? Why Why did we fail? 
Outro ints per cons, level 1 on Krugus 5 minutes ago. Zero ints on Krugus 4 minutes ago. What is that? I guess, did we run out of oxygen or what? Did we run there? We did, did we have a spacesuit? Why is it loading so long? What's going on? We do have... Ah, no, now I understand. We put... We, we, I thought we could uh, just take on the... Uh, oh my goodness, the overall, but well. Is this... Load? That's this one here, right? Ah, oh, yeah, okay, so I understand. So he took off the spacesuit. I actually thought that we could uh, take on the clothing and layered. In layers, you know. But well, so now now we have the spacesuit on. Can we change around? No. How to captain? Click on the ground to go there. Click on a person to talk to. Click on a container to search and so on. Right click just provides additional yet completely optional ways to interact. I wanted to check what's going on here. There's something reddish there. It's a. Uh, but well, so this is the the uh, the robot. Oh, are we messing it up now? Okay, there are certainly some undamaged components. Try to repair. You need a soldering item, but also an RC controller. Okay, so let's leave. I'd like to have the robot. How to captain? Yeah, we know that. Then let's check the person, then we are leaving the overalls behind. I thought we could like wear all of that. Piece of pipe, Krogus toilet. Yes, we know. Inventory, piece of pipe, equip. And then let's get in here. Like, examine. We see nothing out of the ordinary. They are going in there. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's automatically something dropped, a hairpin, oh yeah. A hairpin or hairpin is a long pin, uh, a long device used to hold a person's hair in place. Fun fact, this common accessory item is also a popular choice among thieves for breaking electronic locks. There's someone. Oh, there's somebody. Okay, well, so the graphics are very, very basic. Uh, hello, somebody. The woman. Oh, hello. Let's reach her personality. Oh. The woman in her early 40s, she radiates both confidence and humorous optimism. She has many scars, but also a friendly smile. We get the feeling that she's not malevolent. On the contrary, she's open and even friendly. However, we sense that, of course, she's more than capable of pushing, capable of pushing back. Hello there. Excuse me, but... Who the heck are you? Well, you know, actually, I am the captain of a stranded passenger ship. Passenger ship as in from Earth? Oh la la, but what are you doing here? Well, I'm looking for a fuel ship. We got stranded when somebody fired an iron torpedo at us. Yeah, we can tell her, I guess, right? Pirates, makes sense. Though I'm not sure you will find the ship here. One of those shipwrecks would have been a better place. The station has had no engines, you know. Uh, well, I ran out of fuel on my way there and ended up here. Ah, well, in that case, you're kind of in the right place. There should be a ton of fuel here. Okay, cool. But that is why we are here too, and I'm not sure if Vilnius is ready to share with anyone. You'll have to ask him. Well, can you tell me something about Vilnius? Also, the music is very loud, isn't it? He is, well, he is not the captain, but everyone, including the captain, listens to him. So, he is sort of a leader for this small group of people I'm with. Aha, uh -huh, well. Where can I find him? On the promenade, right in the middle of the station. That's where the bar, the shop and the dance floor are. Dance floor? I mean, there was one 20 years ago. There's no more dancing here these days, of course. Okay, well, does he control access to the fuel? Well, admittedly, no, at least not yet, but it's only a matter of time. Well, then it sounds like it's still up for grabs, isn't it? <laughs> she chuckles. I like your attitude. She checks her gun. But if you get in the way, we will shoot you. No hard feelings, all right? Uh, okay, well, I actually, I thought that she 
would even become part maybe of our group but whatever don't worry if you don't do anything stupid i'm sure you'll get along with villainous just say uh, just fine well that's not good to build more trust right like if someone tells you they want to shoot you maybe we need to bash her skull in at some point but well i see okay let's let's change the subject um so charm could you tell me a bit about yourself who are you let's smile gently at her oh yeah nice two plus okay my name is finn allison but people usually call me finn ally sometimes juggling they, they call me miss finale oh that's interesting and funny ha <laughs> ha finn ally sounds awfully close to finale yeah finale is in the ending huh? yes i mean after the collapse i decided that i wasn't going to rot on some space wreck barely surviving i wanted to return to earth or die trying so I jump from station to station, from shipwreck to shipwreck, always looking for a way to inch closer to my goal. I take chances and as a consequence, more often than not, I end up in tricky situations. Not I, unlike this one, where I've got it to wonder, sometimes loudly, is this your finale, Finn Alley? You talk to yourself out loud? <laughs> what did you expect? I don't have anybody to talk to. When you are always on your own, you start to get weird. Well, you know... I could get you to Earth, you know. Oh, reroll. Oh, right, I've heard that story before, usually from sex-deprived lunatics trying to get under my skirt. Figuratively speaking, of course, I don't own a skirt. Whoa, 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 that came out of nowhere. I meant nothing like that. So, what would it take to get under your garments? No, no. Well, that is... That's actually funny. So let's do that. So, you know, what what would it take to get under your garments then? Oh, reroll. Are you sure you want to retry this check? You have three rerolls left. Let's reroll. Ah, oh, crap. No, we're not doing... Uh, no. Uh, okay, let's change the subject. Maybe we can deal with that last cambot together. Oh, well, this is not a bad plan per se. Even if you do nothing, there's a chance he'll go for you instead of me. So that's an advantage. Well, I I don't even know what uh, what we are speaking about at this moment, but well. So what do you say? Let's take it together. No. Uh, no, I think this is a bit dangerous. I'm already injured and lacking decent protection. Sorry. Okay, well. Can you tell me anything about that ship on the other side of the station? That spirit it is, and I came here with it. You might run into the rest of the crew on the promenade. Oh, yeah. So are you part of the crew? Uh, not exactly. Usually I travel through junk space by hitching a ride because I have quite extensive knowledge of the bell and contacts all around. The crews usually don't mind. I see, so I'm um, about the ship. As I said, that's Spiriditus and I came here with it. You might run to the rest of the crew on the promenade. Well, are they... So what about them? Are they friendly? Uh, they won't shoot you on sight if that's what you're asking, but don't touch their stuff and stay away from the ship. Like everyone in junk space, things can turn ugly quickly if one side feels threatened. Heck, I might even shoot you on the spot if you start acting weird. Uh, I see. Well, I'm not planning to act weird, so you can relax there. One more thing about that ship. As I said, that's Spiriditus. Yeah, yeah, I remember. So, what do you think? Would it be possible for me to get a tour of the ship? Uh, no. Forget about it. If you've got a spaceship, even a tiny shuttle, you are the top dog in junk space and you don't risk this privilege. It will get you shot for sure. Alright, alright. Let's change the subject. So, I must go. See you later. Ah, that's the bo the robot. Okay, using WASD we can actually go around. Okay, well, we are actually in not a, such a good situation here. Citizen, stay back. Um, is it going to kill us? 
Can we actually to do gasoline? Find fuel. Get inside fuel chip. Character. Inventory. Passenger space. Shoot captain's uniform. Let's equip this one. So now that we are inside, right? So there you go. Can we actually with Finn Allison? What's up? Uh, can I ask you a question? Um, well, how about we deal with that last camber together? Well, it's not a bad plan per se. So what do you say? Let's take it together? Yeah. Okay, and she remembers. Okay, then so. Um, maybe the toilet. Ah, we can get into the toilet, huh? Let's do that. Warning! Please pay one peer coin to use the facilities. Let's see. Ski tech hack. Oh, nothing. Okay. I got nothing. Unsanctioned access to the toilet database detected. Deploying antivirus done. Purging the system done. Please restart the system. Switch off. Okay, well, can we look at this guy? Citizens, stay back. What is detected? Combat. Fights are turn-based. Every participant moves or attacks one after another, a bit like in chess. Everything costs action points. Movement, one action point per step. Attack, two to five action points based on the type of attack and weapon. Note that guns at point-blank range deal extra damage. Better keep distance. And turn with spare APs to get a chance to evade the next attack. Yes, we strongly recommend to avoid combat by any means possible. Just run. Um, yeah, well, we could actually run, you know, for for Finn. She will probably start shooting at this thing. This would be... Yeah, let's do that, actually. Do not approach. Is the... Yeah, well... We have 36 HP. Where are our action points, by the way? Damage 8, AP are there. Okay. Well, we can just... Let's r run there then. Citizens, stay back. Okay. So the... Beep, beep. Use key card. Going in there. No, go in there. So what's there? Examine. A dysfunctional bathroom module in an appalling state. Is there anything else? Examine. You see nothing out of the ordinary. Soldering tro iron. Well, there's a lunch box. Space food paste. Bottled water. Welcome terminal cat tube access key card. Search. What is that? A soldering iron is a hand tool used to melt solder material so that it can flow and join electronic components. Okay. Space food paste. Suspicious looking pale color paste. Smells and tastes better than it looks. Bottled water. A small plastic bottle of clean water restores a tiny bit of health. That's good. Welcome terminal cat. Tube access key card. All right. Attention, you find yourself... Uh, oh! You find, your, uh, you find yourself involved in what? You find yourself involved in combat. Unfortunately, because of your focus, you are not the first to act. Crit success. RS-101 hits the weak spot, causing great deal of damage to us. RS-101 electrocutes us for 9 damage. Well... Finn, can you maybe help or what? Well then, let's go there and let's punch it then. What's this? Piece of... Ah, yeah. Kick it or hit it. Swing and hit. Scan vitals. Try to guess the health of an opponent. Let's swing it. Ah, yeah. Oh my god. I think it's killing us. Okay, then let's go here. AP4. What happened? I think it's going to kill us now. Okay, well. Let's 
scan vitals. Does that cost anything? Looks wounded. Hit it. Eight. Oh, now, now it's down or what? Scan vitals. Severely injured. Oh no, now it's killing us. And we're dead. You failed. Well, but that's not how it ended. So let's do this. Okay, well. That is certainly interesting, but we got also rather unlucky there. And well, apparently it is a very unforgiving game, as we can see here. Um, so. Search. So let's do this again. Examining. Okay, two. There are certainly some, yeah, some undamaged components. Try to repair the board. You will need a soldering item. That's something that we found over there. Electronic junk to patch up the board. Also RC controller. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we get that out of the robot. So and then there's a floating person there. Screwdriver, piece of pipe, Krogus. Anyway, I guess we leave the uh, overalls behind. So then we do have this pipe. Equipping it. Going in there. There's something here in the corner. The hairpin. Something there. Okay. So she won't mind if we are uh, changing our clothes in front of her, right? So. Then again. Oh, hello. Perception reader personality. That looks good. Friendly even. Hello there. Actually, I'm the captain of the stranded ship. So, well. I'm looking for a fuel chip, yeah. So we are on the right way if we can find the fuel here and they have some here. Cool. So Vilnius. He is well. He's not the captain, but everyone like uh, listens to him. Okay. Where well, can we find him? Does he control X to the fuel? Okay. Dance floor, by the way. Vilnius, we can have, does he control X to the fuel? Well, then it sounds like it's still up for grabs. Well, and I'm gonna shoot you if you cause trouble. Okay, well, hold your horses, lady. So, I see, okay, let's change the topic. So maybe we can deal with the charm. So what exactly happened here? Yeah, I ran into a couple of cambots. They are surprisingly vicious little bastards. I usually just avoid them. You can always get around one or disable it from a security terminal. But this time they ambushed me as soon as I entered the room. One of them managed to damage my spacesuit before I destroyed it. I didn't want to engage the other one and retreated back here to plan the next step. That's when you suddenly barged in. You said your spacesuit was damaged. Does that mean you can't leave this room? Indeed, unless I find another spacesuit, I'm stuck here. My suit's radio is busted, so I can't call for help. But hey, I've been in worse situations. Let's hope she's not getting any ideas about shooting us to get our suit. Well, I could try to find you a spacesuit if you'd like. If you get me a spacesuit, I can definitely disable the robot from that room over there. Then it's a safe passage for both of us from here. And I would be eternally grateful to you for saving my life. Well noted. All right, can I ask you a question? Um, can you tell me anything about that other ship? Yeah, that's the Spiriditis. Are you part of the crew? No, not really. Okay, I see. What about them? Are they friendly? Yeah, well, maybe. And what do you think? Would it be possible for me to get a tour of the ship? Uh, rather not. Okay, okay. So, then. See you later, then. And I want to save the game right now, so we don't have to do everything again. Hints on Kronos there. And then hello, what's up? So can I ask you a question? So could you tell me a bit about yourself? Who are you? Charming. Are we scum loading now? Success three. My name is Finn Allison, but people usually call me Finn, Ellie. Okay. 
Finds uns auch wie close to Finale. Finale ist in the engine, uh, ending. Oh yeah. Well, I wanna go back to Earth. So, you jump from station to station, huh? You talk to yourself out loud? Well... You know, I could get you to the Earth, you know? Oh... No. Alright, oh, I've heard that before. So, what would it take to get another your garments? Oh, four. Uh, well, I don't really have the luxury of dating with my lifestyle and I also don't usually get along with random, though admittedly attractive strangers I meet. Oh, she blushes. Okay, so you think I'm attractive. That's something. Don't let it get to your head. Sure, anyways, I was wondering about something. Yeah, maybe we can deal with that last cambot together. Hmm, well, this is not a bad plan per se. Even if you do nothing, there's a chance he'll go for you instead of me, so that's an advantage. Yeah, so what do you say? Let's take it together. Come on! Three. Heck yeah, let's do it! Oh, as my grandpa used to say, Leroy Jenkins! She turns around and takes the camboard. Leroy Jenkins! Okay, so everything costs action points. Movement 1 AP per step, attack 2 to 5 based on the type of attack and... Yeah, I think before we needed to kick it or something, huh? Can we actually go here? So it's down there. And she's going to shoot it, right? What's this? Ah, there's sneak and combat and the turn. Can we sneak? Ending the turn. <laughs> Attention, you find yourself involved in combat, unfortunately. Because of your focus, you're not the first to act. Well... Can we just end the turn? So this is, I guess, what the robot can see. Maybe we should come from around there. Like behind... Ending the turn. Are you not attacking him now? Well, then let's check this guy. Overall, screwdriver, piece of pipe, hairpin. Okay. I wonder if the... Uh, if the clothing is actually being messed up or something. And by the way, I wonder maybe we can uh, get some textiles or something out of it, actually. There was something, right? Like, not enough AP. Ending the turn. We are detected. But yeah, so let's run over here. Or is it like, I wonder what the robot can do. Let's go like here. Like this. What did she do? Now it can see us. Okay. Any the turn, she's coming, good. Oh! Where did it come from? Power down, attempt to simply shut down and disable the robot. Can try and disable this robot if you can figure out how. Disable. I think that's probably for the best. Oh, nice. For success. And we figure out the layout of components and the way to switch the robot off. End interaction. Nice. Not enough AP. Ending the turn. Very nice. Let's save this one. Save progress. Saving. So, this robot is temporarily disabled. Inventory. Electronic junk, electric cartridge, very common battery format, powering everything from screwdrivers to electroshock-based weapons. Cambot gun, a bad cambot gun, a low-yield electroshock weapon installed on most combots. The gadget is ripped out of, of the machine with loose wires and sharp brackets, not really mean, meant for humans to fire it. We have to short-circuit two naked wires, it is heavy and cumbersome. 4.2 mass. 
electric cartridge casing, casing of electroshock based weapon ammunition. Electric cartridge, very common battery format, powering everything from screwdrivers to electroshock based weapons. Ah, let's take all of, oh yeah, they're all. So I think they really need to work on this this whole uh, interface here. That's too basic for the year 2024. Electronic junk, bits and pieces of electronic devices. There you go. And then, well, what else? And how about we destroy it? Let's destroy it. What does that mean? Let's examine it. Remains of a destroyed robot. To success, there are certainly some undamaged components. Try and dismantle the innards and pull them out. It seems like we'll we'll need a wrench to access and extract the valuable items from the robot's frame. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. So basically, this is the same robot as that one. Although, no, it looks a bit different. But it's probably the same anyway. So I'm, I, we're just taking, making this decision. So um, then we can go here. Beep, beep. What's beeping? Ah, there's another wall terminal here. So we can't, we can't go around. We can also stop sneaking. So toilet terminal. Hacking. No. Okay then. Thank you. But also the key card. There you go. We have that anyway. That one. Examine. Dysfunctional bathroom module. Impelling stage. But there is something. The lunchbox. Yeah, what is it? Go there. Search. There. Soldering iron. Base food paste and then this uh, tube axis. Okay, that's fine. I just want to try something. Saving. E like inventory, so let's put on the uh, spacesuit again. And now let's go, oh no, let's not open the door over there, but let's go here. And then let's open that one. And then let's go to this robot, ski tech. Try to repair the robot. We'll need a soldering item. Okay, no, we don't have the remote control, okay. Go in there and in here. Okay, okay then. Unequip. Oh, let us just check something. What happens if we talk to her like this now? Saving. Hey Finn, if you want to talk, wear something. She refuses to speak to us while we are naked. Well, where's our uh, captain uniform there? Equip. So, so what's up? We destroyed it. To be honest, I feel like you could have contributed a bit more, but at least it's done now. What? She didn't do anything. Well, can I ask a question? Oh, then actually I need to go. Okay, that was fine. So saving progress. There. So, there is a door over here. What is it? Oh, and by the way, there was something here, right? There's a vent. Beep, beep. Examine. The wall-mounted computer terminal. Beep, beep. Interact. Can't do anything or what? What's going on? Hmm. What's that? A container with painkillers. Ah, yeah. Doesn't work. Or do we need to go closer or what? Where why? What is going on? Doesn't want to. In this door. Ah no, it's here behind there's a wall here. Okay. And, um, 
Well then, we see a floor tile. Take it off to gain X to the lower level. No, 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 no. Interact. Well, we we're taking off the floor tile. We realize we'll need an appropriate tool, a cutter saw. Oh, yeah. Well, I want to get in here. What is with this door? Or is it, uh, is it a window or what? Oh, there's a wrench. Well, we can see it through the window or what? So, a cutter tool. Oh, there's a vent there. What is... Oh my god, this is... It, it's, it's not working very well here. Warning sign. Going there, and what's this? The vent. Interact. Examine. There's a ventilation tunnel built through the separating wall. It is almost human size, small human size, that is. Well, we are a bit bigger, right? Ah, yeah, so there. Here we are. Uh, And there, there we could go to the, to the stairs down, but let's check out this area here first. Using the key card, right? Could have done that with the pin, I guess. Oh yeah, here, RC controller, very nice. This is one that we need for the uh, for the uh, robot. Miniature computer has radio receiver and can be programmed to emit a si or respond to a signal. Electric cartridges, very nice. We can let the robot fight for us, I guess. As you approach the door, red warning light starts blinking at the door beeps, but stays close. Yeah, well. What I want now? Well then, let's check out this here first. Elevator. FAQ, FAQ man, ask me anything, let's examine it. In front of us is a typical interactive touch screen stand with a built-in AI assistant. Its sole purpose is to provide answers to all the boring and basic questions that the staff of the ship has already been asked millions of times. It sports a huge S key, smile, and of all things, a Southern American accident, uh, accent. Select a question. Where am I? Don't be shy, friend. Ask away. Where am I? Yeah, that must have been a crazy night if you don't know where you ended up, eh, partner? This is the space station Krogus, possibly the most fun place in the world. And I'm not just saying that. That literally is one of its main, fun main functions. Can you believe it, sport? Because Earth is so far, Perkins LTD created a hub for miners to unwind after hot days or uh, months of work. While mostly renowned for its bustling non-stop night party on the promenade, Krogus is actually a very convenient meeting place as it is literally right in the middle of the region. It is also a logistics outpost where ships can drop off and pick up cargo at any time. And finally, this is a refueling station that keeps shuttles in a local routes running. Okay. How can I refuel? Update gasoline according to FAQ man fuel is stored in the core of the station. Uh -huh. I can see you're a straight shooter. Well, I can respect that. The fuel is stored in the central core of the station, but our helpful staff will assist you. No need for you to carry the the heavy fuel cells up from the basement yourself. Uh-huh. How does the space toilet work? I see you've got your priority straight, sport. Bathroom on this ship and most other modern spaceships is a multifunctional self-contained sealed capsule that provides poo-poo and pee-pee disposal as well as a shower, even at the same time if you feel inclined. That's all done in the name of efficiency and the privatization of resources. The capsule recycles all the fluids on the spot. It's a closed system, so don't worry. We won't run out of water from a sh for a shower, if you know what I mean. Ha ha ha. But uh, the microgravity and the uh, poopy? Oh yes, as with most things, pee pee and poo poo would float in space and what that would be unsanitary. Since we can't realistically feed you with magnetic powder to ensure your poop sticks to metal, ha <laughs> ha! 
The capsule employs the power of suction to guarantee that disposed substances go where they should. You can't say that it sucks. Get it? Ha ha ha! Well, why is there gravity on this ship? Then, excellent question, buddy. You'd expect to be floating a while in space, right? And uh, rightfully so. The gravitational pull this far away from Earth or any other planet is very small. In fact, we call it microgravity. However, this would make traveling in space very cumbersome and uncomfortable. That's why the good people of Perkins LTD invented a way to simulate gravity while in space. Remember, when you come aboard and the staff insisted that you wear special clothes made out of cosmic fabric? And those heavy space shoes turns out this is part of a trick to reasonably effectively simulate gravity. You see, the clothes and especially the shoes are all magnetic. And the floors all around the ship metallic or magnetic as well and what do you what do magnets do exactly they stick together magnetic soles ensure you can walk even if somewhat awkwardly upright and not float away sorry guys i just need to click escape ah okay we have to finish the the music is getting louder isn't it but well so, magnetic soles ensure you can walk even if somewhat awkwardly upright and not float away, while clothes help you stick to the chairs and, most importantly, the bed. The same principles of magnetism is applied to most of the utensils, tools, containers and everything else. Otherwise, all those things would float around and get stuck in some unwanted places. So, this is how gravity works here. Do you have any more questions? Far away, if so. Okay, is, is this fuel station safe? Very specific question, my dear Greenhorn, but a valid one. Poorly devised fuel containers were the cause of many space accidents initially. That's why nowadays you won't find huge cisterns of explosive propellant. Instead, the fuel is kept in separate, relatively small vessels, sometimes even with distance between them for safety. All this done to prevent the loss of the entire fuel supply in the event of a single structural integrity breach or to avoid a devastating explosion. Oh yeah, this is a very busy refueling station with tons of fuel. How safe is it? No need to worry, partner. All is under control. Krogus 3 fuel reserves are kept in the safest place on the station, in the very center of it. Low level, protected by thick walls and the external ring structure. And of course, to prevent terror acts, access is very restricted and there are active security measures in place. Okay, so... Why is there so much low-tech equipment everywhere? When Perkins LTD decided to go and mine asteroids, it was clear that miners and their equipment would have to spend a lot of time far, far away from Earth without supplies. The equipment had to be both extremely dependable and easy to repair. That is why everything is bigger and clunkier than it needs to be. There is plenty of reserve built in. High fidelity screens gave way to the low-tech e-ink displays that consume only a fraction of the power and last for centuries. Additionally, the equipment is organized into self-sufficient modules that do not necessarily rely on a grid to function. For instance, each computer terminal is equipped with its own power source called an atomic battery and functions as a server that automatically replicates data when connected to whatever ship, ship net network. Connected through independent peer-to-peer -peer links, they can effectively operate and retain 90% of the data even if 70% of the nodes are lost or disconnected. Okay, well, that's interesting. So then, FAQ off. Have a nice day and don't forget to FAQ. Or to fuck, right? Well, there was a lot of information. And let's just option. So the music. It's getting too loud sometimes i feel so and i think that is actually ending the episode for today thanks for watching guys i think we are going on well well i think we'll have a little playlist of this one yeah so find the playlist uh, in the description below and also there is a there will be always at the end of every episode a, a little button you can press for the next one once it comes out, I think I'm going to upload one episode per day. All in a row. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, it looks interesting. Although the graphics are, of course, not really um, competitive. Let's put it like that. But like for a very small studio title. Yeah, it's, it is intriguing. And I personally I like the... Um, 
the setting a lot. Yeah. So, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts, please do share them in the comment section. And uh, I would appreciate greatly if you could click the like button right now and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So never ever miss an episode again. And it's free and you know it helps tremendously. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.